Thanks for finding me. My name is Audrey. I am a psychic. Um, but this channel is primarily about my life <laughs> and my opinions, what I'm doing at home, what's going on, what problems am I attempting to solve in my life right now. I do have another channel. It's called Audrey Briggs, the Salty Psychic. That is all about crime, crime only on that channel. This channel is everything except um, I'm going to hold the microphone back here so I don't have to sit right in front of the camera. Um, I don't feel super good today. My allergies are acting up quite a bit. So I'm wheezing, I'm sneezing. I'm just a little bit of a mess. So apologies for that. Please do consider subscribing to the channel here. I do a once a week vlog that I share a recipe with. I usually drive around with my son who's 21 and he's disabled. Um, and we talk about him and we talk about my husband and my other son and my kids, everything else. So um, thank you. Okay, so Kate Middleton. Now, first of all, for you fun friends who like to correct me, I don't mind being corrected. I don't mind being corrected. The thing is, there's no need for correction because I know what I'm talking about, but I'm a smart ass sometimes. Sometimes I like to give people nicknames. Okay, now I know Kate Middleton's proper name is Catherine, Princess of Wales. I know that. I know that. Um, as someone who's been to England 25 times, I know that. I know a lot of things about England, the family, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, also, I'm psychic. I have channeled Princess Diana, Diana, Princess of Wales, um, since she passed. That's a whole story. It's on one of my YouTube channels somewhere. Um, but I do have an insider scoop on that. I just do. I mean, I, I, I came out of the closet as a psychic when I was 40. I just turned 56 two days ago. So um, I have a lot of history with the royal family and, and continue to get information from the other side, from Diana. All right. Take it or leave it. I don't care. You clicked on the video. Okay. <laughs> All right. Reliable sources or rumors of what the hell's going on with Kate. Um, we were told, and I say we as if I'm British. I am not British, uh, but I will continue to say we. We were told that we would see Kate around um, Easter right? She, there was that fake video. It was fake. It was fake. It's a fake AI video. And I'm learning how to use AI just for editing and stuff. It's not difficult to do. So anyway, that video was fake. So uh, we know she had surgery that she was going to be out for a couple weeks. We were supposed to see her in April. Um, this is May. What's today? The 10th. Uh, still no sign of her. Um, fact, reliable source. We still not have. We still haven't seen a new photo. We have not seen Catherine since she was in the car, potentially in the car with her mom and with William. No one's certain of if those were legitimate pictures. That's from a reliable source as well. No confirmation that either of those photos were real, which I'm not going to go through and, and point it out to you. But if you start looking at the details of these different photos, you can tell it's fake you, because cars don't have five wheels. OK, I mean, it, there's just so many, so many things. Um, Marshmallow, you're going to have to stay inside here because I'm not going to get up to let you out. I'm sorry. You can lay down. Go lay down. It's my kitty cat. Um, we've been hearing some not super nice things about Kate coming out in the press in England. Someone, some paper, newspaper, a reliable <laughs> newspaper said she's a stalker. They said Catherine, Princess of Wales, is a stalker. 
What are they talking about? Well, I know what they're talking about because I've said this from the very beginning. Diana, Princess of Wales, has shown me this from the beginning. And I know it's true. I know it. I know it. I know it. I would bet money on it. Someone give me an opportunity to make some cash. Give, make a bet with me. Make a bet with me. That's how confident I am in what I'm going to say. And that is this. Carol Middleton and her husband sold all their children down the river and out the door. What do you mean? Well, I've said it before, haven't I? That Carol is the one pushing Catherine and Peppa to marry Rich. Carol had Catherine leave a college and enroll in a different college that Prince William was going to be attending so that she could be near him. And she changed her major to the same as William's. Audrey, that's a rumor. You don't know what you're talking. No, no, it's not. a. To me, it's not a rumor. It's not a rumor at all. It's a fact. She did leave that college and she did attend the other college that she graduated from. Um, I don't consider Catherine a stalker at all. I consider Catherine a victim of her parents, as so many of us are. Um, so it's... Uh, Carol Middleton is the stalker, in my opinion, as a psychic. And uh, Catherine had a boyfriend at the time. Catherine had several boyfriends before William. But once it was found out that Catherine could attend the same college as William, oh, man, full-blown stalker mode, Carol Middleton. We also were told in the press from a reliable source that Catherine loves to go in the pool at night, in the dark, when it's freezing. Okay, well, there's a lot of people that go in those ice pools, tubs, ice tubs, whatever, um, in the dark. Um, I don't see how that's uh, like a mental health problem. They were trying to say it's in a negative way. I don't see that in a negative way. I see it's a woman who probably doesn't have time during the day to go possibly be in the pool. Maybe she doesn't want the cameras on her during the day in a pool. Uh, maybe she's more relaxed at night in the pool. Um, but the press overseas is not being particularly nice about Catherine. It's so unusual. We, we are not used to seeing such things. It's been reported by a reliable source, Marshmallow, that Carol Middleton has moved in with the Waleses. Why would Carol move in with William, Catherine, and the children? Why? Some people say, say it's because Catherine's gone. She's no longer on the planet. As a psychic, I am not feeling that. I am not feeling a passing. And whenever I talk about something like this involving the family, um, I'm kind of putting it out there to spirit, Diana, for a confirmation, confirm, or deny for me. I'm not feeling death for Catherine. So that's good. Even though we haven't seen her, or even though there aren't any new photos of Catherine, I'm not feeling that she's passed. Could it? Could she be? Totally. She totally could be. I see. I understand why some people are saying she is gone. Um, now, this is interesting. Again, from a reliable source, that Peppa reportedly will be basically Catherine's lady in waiting. It'll be, she'll be the woman who stands next to Catherine everywhere they go. Um, not like a servant or a maid or something. Are there still servants? Is that still a word? Is that a bad word? Can I not even say that word? Um, she will be Catherine's lady in waiting, I believe is what the, the phrase is called, which I think is tricky. I think it's a trick. Um, although this was reported, I, I don't believe it. Um, I believe this report was put out to give us the impression that Catherine is still alive and still capable of her 
job when she becomes queen. Again, I'm not saying that I think she's passed, but I think this was done on purpose to give the impression and put people at ease that Catherine is all right, that she is well, and that she will fulfill her, her role as queen consort when William becomes king. I think it's a trick. Um, I was just in England, as you might know. No one's talking about <laughs> Catherine. No one is talking about Catherine. It's very strange. I don't understand that mentality because as an American, you know, we're in everybody's business all the time and that's just how it is. So, you know, for those people who were like, leave her alone. No, I'm not going to leave her alone. Why would I leave her alone when we don't know where she's at or if she's okay? What about that? It's none of your business. You're not even British. Well, oh, you know what? It's my planet. It's my planet and energy is energy and the energy from across the seas anywhere on the planet affects my energy. I'm not trying to fix the world. I'm just saying I have the right to have my two cents heard. If you don't like my two cents, get a refund and get out. That's sick. Now, here's another funny thing. It's reported by a reliable source that Papa and Brother James have a new business even though all their other businesses have failed thus far, runs in the family with the Middletons, these two have a new uh, up and coming yoga lounge. It's a place to go do yoga, which is great. Um, I've done yoga and I think I'm gonna start doing some chair yoga at home. I just don't wanna be out in public anymore uh, with germs and stuff. Um, so Peppa and James have this new yoga lounge, which also can be uh, doubled up as a sort of mi uh, meeting venue where you can go and hold meetings or conferences and different things like that. I mean, I don't wish harm on anybody. I hope their business is successful. You know, I, I don't want them to fail. I'm not that kind of person. I mean, I don't care for these people, but, you know, they're people, they're human beings and with feelings and emotions. So I hope their business is successful, but with the history of the parents as well, owing people millions of dollars, good luck. That's all. That's all I can say. We also heard from a reliable source that William and Catherine throw stuff at each other. Is that true? And this, this source said that this is just like a thing. This is their thing. I can totally see William doing it. I can see Catherine having done it, but I do not believe that Catherine's um, MO is, is that. I think it's the exception, not the rule. I think Catherine probably has thrown something in her lifetime at William, um, but I don't, I don't think that's a regular behavior on her part. So we continue to get these little jabs of, uh, mental health instability about Catherine, which is just garbage because all the women are put in this position. I'm not a fan of Meghan Markle, but she was also put in this position. Diana, we know she was put in this position, but Diana owns it. She's like, yeah, I know. I was a little nuts. I was a little nuts. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want me to say about it? Um, but I, I, everyone can get ang angry and anyone and everyone does get angry. Everyone has their moments of, um, you know, being, doing something they, they regret. Um, but like I said, I, I don't think that's Catherine's daily ways. Um, we would like to see some proof of life. Give us a new picture that's not been messed with. So now rumor is, rumor, Catherine was oh, awaken, awoken, woken up from, I don't know the English. People are saying Catherine was woken from a coma, a, a um, induced coma. That's when they put you on life support um, for different reasons, but it's done on purpose. And then they can bring you out of the coma. And people are saying, well, when she was brought out of the coma, 
um, she's not right. She couldn't walk. She's not walking well. Her face is a little droopy. Um, she's not right. A lot of people are saying this, um, including a very famous and popular uh, reporter out of Spain, of all things. I want to. I want to see a new picture. You know, why can't they be honest? And if that is the case, come out and say, hey, you know, Catherine had the surgery and when she came out of anesthesia, you know, she's going to need some recovery time. Be honest. Be upfront. Nobody likes leaders to be hiding behind curtains and, and doors and um, fake photos. And with this stuff with Harry going on, you know, Harry came to visit England for a meeting he had going on in, for the Invictus Games. Sorry, I'm trying to not sneeze. Uh, so Harry went to St. Paul's Cathedral, which Benjamin and I were just at. Um, and Charles, King Charles, had a garden party planned for that day at that time, which would um, require all the working royals to be at the garden party, which I heard was unsuccessful, whatever that means. Um, but that way, Harry was not able to contact or chit chat uh, with people, at least in person. So um, and that allegedly rumor is Camilla, the mistress's um, fault. Um, Camilla, in my opinion, will always be the other woman. She will never be queen in my eyes. I hate her energy. I hate the way she looks on the inside. I have nothing good to say. Nothing good to say about Camilla Parker Bowles. And I don't know what name, what last name does she use now that she's married or that she's queen? I don't know. I have no idea. So bottom line, we want to see Kate. We just want to make sure she's okay. Um, if I feel the need to talk about her, I'm going to talk about her. Um, I've had people talk about me. That's fine. Whatever. They've done videos about me on YouTube. People have. Um, whatever. It's fine. You know, when you're a public person, you have to expect to be spoken about. Bad, good, and indifferent. It doesn't matter. I mean, and she's the freaking future queen for God's sake. She matters. The situation matters. We just don't know. But like I said, as a psychic, I do not see her as past. Um, I do feel the energy of her. Um, I don't even know how to explain it For, with Catherine. I just feel so, so heavy. Like I feel like I have a weighted blanket on me and it's prohibiting me from functioning properly, moving, um, speaking, like she goes to speak and it's just like, there's no words, you know, and that could be, um, that could be literal or it could be figurative, figuratively speaking. Um, so I, I'm not sure, but I do feel those things around, around Catherine. So I hope she's okay. Girl, I hope you're okay. Call me. I will be happy to go to Windsor Castle and have high tea with you, my friend. Um, all right, you guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for my next weekly vlog coming up in just a couple days. And until then, I will wish you well and see you very soon. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching, Audrey Christine. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out Audrey's YouTube crime channel, The Salty Psychic at Audrey Briggs 68.